Well, Friday is usually movie night, but the movie industry has been hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic. Studios have pushed back release dates and theaters have been forced to close for months. Earlier today, I spoke with Showplace Cinema's president, Mick Steeler, on when theaters could reopen and changes that moviegoers might see. Mick Steeler, thanks for joining us tonight. Who doesn't like a night out at the movies? It's something we haven't been able to do since the pandemic began. But there are now plans in place for theaters to open once again. When does Showplace plan to reopen? Well, last night, the governor pushed us back to phase four, so we cannot open until June the 14th. Okay. What, what does that do to your plans? Well, we were planning on opening June the 5th, so you know, it's pushing it back now. So, And just like any other businesses that have reopened, I'm sure there will be some changes made. What are some changes that people will immediately notice when they walk inside of your theaters? Well, we're going to not take cash. It'll be all credit card or gift card. Um, Everything's going to be basically $5, $5 tickets, $5 popcorn, $5 drinks, no, no refills. Um, you're probably purchasing either all the tickets online or through a kiosk. Uh, we're trying to limit the interaction with, with uh, our workers as much as possible. Will there be limited seating and how will that work? You know, 50%. Uh, we're kind of, so you probably have two seats in between each you know, each people, each person. Um, so, uh, you know, 50 percent, uh, you know, it's, it's going to cut back quite a bit. Yeah. What about face mask? Are you requiring people who come to your theaters to wear face mask? All our workers will have them. Uh, we will not basically require because we're going to st stick to the six feet, uh, you know, social distancing. So, and we will have people wiping down, uh, workers wiping down things. And we'll be opening the doors for everybody to come in and keep the doors to the auditoriums open till the movie starts. And we will have uh, increased intermission times. Um, we will not be letting the customers get their own drinks. We will uh, be getting the drinks for them and same way with the popcorn and butter and stuff like that. Be a limited concession menu too. So. What about protections for your employees? Well, we'll be using masks and uh, gloves. And you said that there still will be concessions available like popcorn, which may not be easy to wear or to eat if you're wearing a mask. But. Well, you know, when people get inside, they'll probably take the mask off. Okay. Well, let's talk about yeah, what like movies. When you, go to a when you go to a restaurant, you know, you can't eat with a mask on at a restaurant. Well, let's talk now about what movies we'll be able to see there. Most movie studios are waiting until later in the year to release some new films. What does Showplace plan to show until those new movies start coming out? Well, the first new movie will be Tenet on July the 17th, basically. Um, they did throw another one in on July the 1st, a Russell Crowe movie called Unhinged. So there are a couple movies in July that they're opening, but yes, the bigger movies have been pushed back until the, later in the year. Um, when we first open, we'll probably have half and half uh, movies from the 70s and 80s and 90s, and the other half of the movies that we took off at, at the time of shutdown. Talk about what has this pandemic done to the movie theater industry? You know, it's killed it, to be honest. Uh, you know, we have not taken in a, a dime since March the 17th. And, you know, uh, we're, we're struggling. Uh, I'm sure all theaters across the country are. Have you laid off your employees? What is the situation with that? Are they coming back? Well, you know, um, we did lay off every employee. So everybody was on unemployment, even myself. Mm. Uh, you know, we weren't paying any salaries whatsoever. And... Uh, I brought back three or four people right now to get ready. And then, as, you know, as we get ready to open, we will start bringing them back, yes. Talk about the cleaning and how you'll be deep cleaning there. Um, we'll have a crew that will go around to each theater after the movie's over and, you know, clean all the seats, the cup holders and everything, you know, with sanitizer. Um, and they'll be wiping down all the the door handles and, and things and we'll be same with the restrooms we'll be going through the restrooms probably every 15 minutes and wi wiping everything down wiping down all counters anything that uh, people will be touching we'll, we'll be wiping wiping it down 
Is there any concern about people wanting to go back to movie theaters? Because streaming services like Netflix obviously got a big boost during the pandemic, and many people are now used to watching movies at home. Are you concerned about that? And is there anything that Showplace plans to do to get people back into your theaters? Well, besides the reduced rates, uh, I think that that's going to be a huge a huge thing for us. Um, and Hollywood's gone really push going back to the movies. Um, it's, you know, uh, of course, I think people are so tired of being at home. So, you know, we're really looking forward to, you know, to serving our customers. And I, I think that's a big plus for us. You mentioned a push by Hollywood to get people back into theaters. Are you hearing of anything that they plan to do? Well, they're going to do uh, little snips and things on Facebook and, and uh, stuff like that, just to promote going to the movies.